Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be doing another demo video of crafting notes with my external mind. It's been a couple months since I last did one and I will put a link to that video up on screen here somewhere. But in this video, rather than in the last one where I was crystallizing a thought or idea from that I had encountered out in the wild, today I want to use those uh, information that I consumed to be a launch pad for developing my own thinking around an idea. So rather than taking a singular idea and turning it into a one note, I want to show how you can use an external mind to develop your own thinking around a bigger topic uh, and create potentially the seeds for more notes in the future. And hopefully this video, my goal is that you will get the sense for how you can use an external mind to develop your thinking that doesn't require a process or pipeline or, or rigid structure in which to do so. It's really about writing, thinking, and then coalescing those ideas together to form, to form notes. So hopefully this is a good demo and gives you some ideas for your own system. So let's dive in. So incidentally, the note that I want to explore or the concept that I want to explore is around what is a tool for thought. And this was sparked by this Letters from a Roman that Andy Henson wrote. I will put a link so you can subscribe to his newsletter down in the description below. So this is the idea that I want to build out from. I took just a couple highlights of some bullets that might be relevant. So I'm going to open up this note here in, in one of my tabs. And then where I want to start developing this note, I have a, a place created in my personal knowledge management, PKM as a discipline. And then I have this tools for thought concept idea and you can see I've started writing out a few kind of jot notes here because I think there's a lot of different ideas that go into what what makes a tool for thought is that is that even the right term is there a better term what is the the goal here what are the properties of a tool for thought um, you know there's a whole bunch of thinking that I have to do around this to kind of crystallize my own knowledge and understanding of what this is. So I'm going to fast forward the video now as I am going through and thinking about what is a tool for thought. Okay, so I did a lot of writing there, jumping over the place, just trying to get my thoughts out of my head and onto paper. And the goal with this session is to not create these atomic notes or, or make these perfect production line systems 
It's about spending time thinking things through so that you can move ideas around so that when you come back to this idea, you're not starting from nothing. And also one of the powers of, of an outliner is if I were to go back to this, this main page here, this complexity, I can just collapse and not be confronted by the messiness when I don't want to be, or I can expand and go into it. And so now what I would do is, well, perhaps first, let me, let me show what some of the um, icons that I used are. So this question mark here is a potential action for me to follow up on to do some more research into a particular topic. So leaving myself a, a visual indication of, of an act next action that I could potentially take. These uh, blue arrows indicate that I, I'm pretty sure that I have an idea around this, a note around this in my system already. So then I can go looking for those notes um, with, within, or I think that they could create another note that doesn't yet exist, but um, wouldn't necessarily fit within this section. They're, they're a larger level idea. Now that we have the groundwork for some of these ideas in place, let's start putting in some of the structure, the tree-like structure for where these notes can live. And then we can create some different index entries so that when we're reviewing things in the future, we can tag them with the same thing. So then they can start coalescing around, around this idea. So I think I'll just kind of go through first and create the different sections that I think exist and then we'll come back and talk about what note I might want to create a card for. So now I have these kind of three sections that I'm building out for the concept of tools for thought. So now I'm gonna to go to my index and I'm going to add those to my section so that I can more easily find them based on you know alphanumeric uh, items. So I'm going to add in and now I'm going to select you know I think these are the main ideas here, so I, I think I'll just select this one about the capturing of ideas. So this will be a a page, and then I have a um, text expander set up so that I can group this under the summary of the idea. I'll make this is the today where I'm going to be finalizing it to add in that time dimension for my notes. And then if I had any other main notes that I want to connect it to, I can put those there as well as any other index, index notes that it might be related to. So perhaps this is also going to be related to the idea or, or concept of quick capture. So I will link it to the index entry that I already have for quick capture, the productivity method and I'm going to leave myself a note about why I think these two are related. So now I'm going to think of how I can summarize this idea as it relates to tools for thought and, and how it needs to be a property of in, in kind of one sentence, one statement that's going to be the title of this of this note. So now that I have the title, the initial thought written down, I'm going to go and start creating the cards for this idea. And the reason why I don't just leave it here and I write it on the card, I think right now is twofold. One is Writing it out by hand, 
I think gets me to engage with it in a in a different way. It might help me to to remember imprint the idea on my mind, as well as it slows me down so that other things might kind of percolate to the surface, and I might slightly alter or change or add to the idea as I'm writing it out on on the card. Okay, so now I have the cards written. You can see here I have the tools for thought, the properties. I then place that in my box behind the tools for thought concept. And then I have the card written for, for a tool to enable thinking. It must provide a means of capturing thoughts in an external system. So this card is going to go behind the one that I just installed. And I'm not just copying here from what I had written. The, the items in the digital system is really about developing the thought. And then the card is really an opportunity to try and crystallize that thought um, for the future. So digital is the more messy system. And this should hopefully be the more crystallized idea and so that will then go in the box behind the card for tools for thought properties which is behind the tools for thought concept and so to finish this off i just come back to my digital system i will turn this into a page i will add the address for that card that I just installed and then that way if I wanted to find that card I know where to go looking for it from my digital and likewise if I find it in my analog system I can come to the digital and find where it exists and then I will just put a brief little thumbnail about um, what this idea is about so I can see that tools for thought concept the property of capture really easy to get to. So that's just an example of how I can craft a note within my system. Thanks everyone for watching. Let me know if you found this useful down in the comments below and I will see you all next time.